the National Police, the State Border Guard Service, the National Guard, and Emergency Services. All of these Ukrainian law enforcement bodies have undergone serious reform over the last few years. The reforming of the Interior Ministry is being carried out in cooperation with our partners. I think we have to use this chance and introduce our new heads of departments, present our main directions of reforms, and reach agreement on the rules for 2017. The reform of the National Police is considered the most successful. In fact, the body was recreated from scratch based on the concept of respect for human rights. The new police is no longer to punish, but rather to serve. The police also established rapid response task force units in five Ukrainian regions. And this year, road police service was launched in nine regions. Today, Ukraine's state border guard service has checkpoints equipped to meet EU standards. They're able to check biometric passports and access Interpol databases. The National Guard of Ukraine is also constantly evolving as they strive to meet NATO standards. And the best way to achieve that goal has been participating in ongoing joint military exercises. Ukraine's international partners continue to be very supportive of law enforcement reforms. This meeting has made me remember how many various bodies and services the Interior Ministry coordinates and how important those bodies are for the safety of our daily lives, for Ukrainians, for diplomats, for guests of the country. We see that every such body already has its own broad reform plan. We've considered the experience we've gotten in the last few years, we've drawn conclusions and embarked on a coordinated approach. All these reforms have been carried out under a strategy adopted in December 2014. By the end of March, the government will have adopted a new plan to cover the next three to five years.